Well, Keto, we know that Clint had reservations about having his teenage daughters in his wife Dina's reality show, and Dina recently revealed Clint's reservations to Showbiz Tonight. Watch what she told us. Once the kids got thrown into the mix, I think a little resistance started, and, and I, I applaud him for resisting the fact that two teenage girls are going to be in a reality show. He's kind of the anti of what you imagine Hollywood would be, so there is, ain't nobody doing his shopping for him. He do, he's at the grocery store. If you want to see Clint Eastwood and Carmel, go to Whole Foods. Like, he's, you know, he does everything, and he just kept saying, don't let it all get to you. Don't start buying into it, girls. That's his concern, is that they're going to think that somebody buying your food and painting your nails is normal. And it's not normal unless you can afford it. Unless you can get a job and pay for that kind of stuff, that's not normal living. Yeah, and there's nothing normal about the backlash that we're seeing over this. You know, up until now, Clint Eastwood and his family have lived very private lives. Keita, I'm thinking that Clint is now living his worst nightmare and probably regretting letting his kids do the show. Absolutely. Of course he is. I mean, here's a man who's built his business on his talent. You know, and you're going into what we consider the new TV, which is reality television. As a father, he had great concerns, and obviously his concern has come to light. Um, I think it's unfortunate that, you know, the, the whole situation has go gone into her, them threatening her life. But I'll tell you something. The one thing that I would do first as a publicist is be able to take the situation and see how I could spin it around, book my client on a few shows, and see if we can sell this piece of art um, at a charity event for more than the bag was worth. Um, other than that, it's just the product of being privileged and favored. And I think that being 19, it got to her head. And if she sees it as art, it's an expensive, truly an expensive consequence she's paying. Yeah, very expensive and not just financially, obviously. And yeah, you mentioned how bad the backlash has gotten. Francesca actually receiving death threats over burning this $100,000 Birkin. But Francesca's boyfriend, Tyler Shields, is taking full responsibility for the stunt. He wants it off the shoulders of Clint's daughter. Late today, he released this statement to showbiz tonight here's what he says as an artist i put myself out there 100 percent by doing that i sometimes face criticism but i would not be who i am or where i am if i didn't for the people who are upset with francesca she didn't buy the bag i did and i give plenty of money to charities and i support a lot of people financially so before people become so upset they have to realize this is how i make a living you know i have to tell you kid i don't think that's going to smooth this over with so many people do you no. think Francesca is the one who should be out there talking about this now to, to get the, this talk quiet now? Um, I think she should. I mean, obviously, she was participating. We all know that when you participate in anything, regardless of whether you're charged with the crime, you're aware of what's happening. I feel bad that, you know, it takes a bag for people to really understand what we're going through as a country. I mean, $100,000, you're going to burn it for art. And true, he's an artist. So, of course, there are artistic, creative things that he sees that we don't see. Yeah. I just don't see the artistic value in burning a $100,000 bag. Or maybe I'm just jealous because I can't afford it. Well, one. yeah, I mean, that could, that could be it, too. Well, I, I appreciate your insight. Aikita Williams, thank you so much.